the time is currently 7 10 a.m i just woke up about 10 minutes ago and getting up early so i can get my whole day started um I have a lot of things i a lot of things i need to work on and i did rearrange my drawing area a little bit more because that like the way that the lighting was set up it wasn't really efficient so now i've kind of moved some things around to where the lighting is better and i have a little bit more room and uh yeah but i've got a lot of drawings and doodles planned i spent yesterday most of the day just organizing and rearranging all the files on my computer because i have um i mean i've got files from my DSLR, my camcorder, and then I also have files from my little um, action camera here. This is a Yi 4K. So I've got files from all of those that I've got to put together. And um, it makes it really hard to find them because, um, you know, it's from th three different cameras. So when I'm trying to organize it and put them together, I have to go through and find which one is for which camera um although most of the time i can just tell by looking at the camera quality because the highest quality is going to be my dslr and then um, my camcorder second and then um my action camera would be third um i mean well it kind of depends i mean my my action camera can record in 4k but um it's not quite as good at as far as like in low light I mean I'm not quite sure how to explain it but I can tell that it's the action camera because it's a wide-angle lens but yeah um, so there's that I reorganized all that and then um, yeah I'll just show you around and uh, take a look at, see what it looks like, um, the whole rearrangement I did. I mean, it, I kind of moved things actually like 10 times, and then I ended up just moving it back to how it originally was because um, none of the other ways would work because one of my outlets in my apartment um, isn't grounded, so all the locations that I would move the, my drawing table and everything to wasn't going to work. So now I just moved back to um, how it was. And so, yeah, now it's back to doodling. When I got up this morning, I realized that my calves were really sore. Um, so was my right knee. My right knee I've had, uh, I know that I've had at least two surgeries on it. And I might have had three. Because I, I had two ACL reconstructive surgeries. And then if I can remember correctly, I had a... Um, third surgery to remove the scar tissue in my knee but I got up and my my knee was pretty sore and I get to move it around a little bit and then it didn't really bother me much and what's weird is that it's on the location of where my LCL is um which is one of the um uh tendons in your leg um on your knee and it's on the right side but I mean, I think it's the LCL, but it kind of feels like the spot to where the tendon graft that they put in is attached to that side of my knee on the inside. So I think it's just from uh, the jogging, the constant like um, force of taking all the steps that my knee's not used to that because um, today is what is today? Today is uh, Friday, yes. And on, I believe it was Wednesday, I did a 10 mile jog. And then yesterday on Thursday, I did another 10 mile jog. And then after that, I did a one mile jog. And then today I'm going to do um, a short little one mile jog just to um, kind of get some movement and blood flow in my knee so that I uh, feel better and can recover. Um, like the days that I need to recover, 
instead of doing absolutely nothing, I do something very light, just get my blood flowing, and uh, I notice it helps me recover a lot quicker, so I'll be doing that. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get dressed up and warmer for my jog. Right now I've got an orange coat on. This is like to stop the wind. And then this here is to uh, keep me warm. And then I've got underneath it a white shirt. And depending on the temperature, I'll have something else extra underneath this. Um, like a long sleeve uh, shirt. And then I'll have... Well, at the very bottom, I have like the white shirt, long sleeve shirt, this, and then uh, this orange jacket, and then I'll have my whole face mask, um, hat on to keep my face warm, and then I'll have my glove. So I'm gonna go ahead and go finish getting ready, and then I'll go ahead and start my run. One thing I notice is that if I if I pretty much do no exercise and I don't move around or do anything, um, I just not feel very good. I notice a huge difference um, now that I've been getting back into running. I used to do a lot more uh, powerlifting, sprinting, and I'm just built for that. But um, I like to push myself and see what I'm capable of. Um, I do plan on probably doing a marathon here soon. Um, most of the ones I can find locally for running, they're only they're only about five k. And that's not really that long of a distance. That's like, what, three miles, I think. And I, I could run a three mile every day for indefinitely. So I want a longer distance, but um, I've never actually ran a marathon like against other people. I mean, I've, I've ran long distances by myself, but um, it would make it a lot easier because you would have there people there to help you um, for extra water or anything else. Um, so I think it'll go pretty good. I just got to find a, a marathon to do. I think one I really want to do would be uh, an ultra marathon. You know those ones that are like over 50 miles? Um, I want to try one that's like 100 miles and see how, see how long that takes. I know that those ones... Um, I think they have like a 24 hour time limit that you have to run it. And I think it'd be interesting to see how long it would take me to, to run a hundred miles. That's quite a ways and would definitely be a challenge for me to complete, but I think I could do it. Um, just with a little bit of training and that's about it because I know mentally I can push myself to do it. It's just a matter of if, um, my body can hold up, but I'm still pretty young, so I should be okay. So I just finished my 10 mile jog again for the day. I did so far about 10 miles um, three days ago, and then uh, two days ago I did 10 miles, and then, um, or no, yeah, two days ago. And then today I did 10, so um, 10 miles each day for three days, and then each day I'm jogging to and from work, and it's half mile jog there, and so that makes it 33 miles that I've done um, in three days. Um, my cardio um, is surprisingly pretty good, being that um, I come from a background of doing uh, sprinting and powerlifting, um, and the main problem I'm having is my um, knee, uh, the one I had surgery on. I feel real tightness where the um, uh, part of my knee is being held together pretty much by um, um, the metal pieces. But I'm going to stretch that out, uh, make myself some food to eat, and then after that, uh, start on some drawing. But I think I'm doing pretty good. I'll probably take tomorrow as a break. Um, I probably just jog around the block, real light. I'm getting my blood flowing, and then after that, uh, just do a lot of stretching. Um, it's always good to get your blood flowing and circulating before you stretch. It's always the best to actually stretch after you're done working out. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I think uh, 
eventually what I want, want to be able to do um, is 100 miles in one week, which would be, um, about, what's that, 15, mile, 15 miles a day, I think? That's 70. But if I do 10 miles a day, that's 70 miles plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's about 13 and a half or 14 miles a day, 13.75, somewhere around there. Um, but I'll get to it eventually. I don't think it'll take me too long to be able to do that, but that's my uh, goal at the moment. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drink me some water, give me something to eat, and then uh, go ahead and start on some, some drawing for the day. I'll catch you later. There's my hat. I thought it was in my other room, but it's in my kitchen. Now I have to get my gloves. Well, one of my gloves. The other one's looks like it's down here. And, uh, yeah, that should help keep me warm. Sun's up right now, finally. Uh, it's currently winter time, so we don't have as much sunlight as we do in the summer. And I do prefer the summer, but if you got a really hot day and you're out jogging, it does make it pretty tough. But then again, I depends on temperature, but generally speaking, I prefer warmer weather for going for jogs. I got my MP3 player. Play me some music. And should be all set. Got my headphones here. Um, these only <laughs> seem to work like when I'm running. If I have my hat on because they seem to fall off. I want to try and get a different pair that are like this that are wireless Bluetooth. Um, so I can use them for connecting to my MP3, MP3 player. Um, but it's, the weight of this here, um, if I'm jogging or running, it pulls it out of my ear whenever I'm, I'm jogging. Because of the movement of going up and down and forward, it just pulls on it and it comes out of my ear. But as long as I have my hat on, they stay on. So I think I'll just wear these for now uh, during the winter while I'm jogging. And then uh, once springtime comes, I'll probably get a different pair that is uh, much lighter than these. And uh, that'll be helpful so that they don't fall out of my ears. I almost forgot to mention that I'll be um, here soon. I plan on getting an accessory kit for my action camera. The little tiny one that I have over here um what i'll do is i will attach it to me there's like a strap that you can get that you can attach it to um, a helmet or across um, your chest and i'll use that to record my distances that i'm running um and then some of them will probably be real time and then what i'll do is probably have some of them as uh, time lapse but um yeah anyways now i'm gonna go work and stuff i'll see you around